Happy Passover 2001. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. When Israel was in Egypt's land, let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand. in Puppet Town. Thank you for all coming here this evening to share this fine Passover Seder with me. It is an honor to open my home to all of you. I know that for many of you it's your first Seder, but don't worry. The tradition of the Seder is to explain all the symbols and rituals as we go along. Just follow along in your Haggadot, the Seder books. As you can hear, my voice is a little sore this evening, so thankfully my great friend Kesat has joined us to lead the service. You go, Kesat. Thank you, Mutton Chop. And thank you, Rabbi Sackman. We'll begin the Kiddush, the prayer over wine. All right, wine, 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 spodioti. And I didn't even need to bring a fake ID. It's grape juice for the kids, Ratso. But it's the same prayer. Baruch Now we drink the cup of wine leaning on the left side. Check it out. I'm digging the seam with a gangster lean. The next thing we do is each take a piece of parsley. Don't eat it yet. And dip it into the salt water. The vegetable reminds us that our ancestors were tillers of the soil, grateful for its bounty. And the salt water represents the tears of our ancestors, shed when they were slaves. As our door is open, may not only the hungry come, but the spirit of the prophet Elijah, that we may tonight think wisely and feel deeply as we set aside this cup of wine. So who's this Elijah character? And how come he gets wine and I don't? Well, you don't get wine because you're too young. And we leave this cup out for Elijah because he's a great prophet who helps us in times of trouble. He deserves to be welcomed into our celebration. And if you watch closely, maybe he'll drink some of that wine tonight. Well, why don't I just mark the glass and see if he comes by or not? That's not very faithful of you. You were probably a contrary son as a child. Elijah is as real as you and me. Bye. I'm sorry. How about I make it up to you by singing my favorite Seder song? The song about the four questions. Please do. Halayla <laughs> 
הלילה הזה, הלילה הזה, כולו מצב. Now let's recite the question in English. Is that Elijah? Maybe. It's open. Come in. How y'all doing? It's Mr. Eisen from next door. Yay! I thought I'd come by and ask you if I could buy some matzo and orange juice. Sorry, no OJ. But we've plenty matzo. Take, enjoy. Thank you, Papa Town. I love you. Good night. <laughs> As I was saying, Here's the four questions. Instead of the youngest child reading them, since we're all young at heart, let's go around the table reading. Why is this night different from all other nights? On all other nights, we eat either leavened bread or unleavened bread. Unleavened bread is the matzah, right? On this night, why only matzah? On all other nights, we eat any herbs. Why on this night, only bitter herbs? On all other nights, we do not dip our herbs. Even once. On this night, why do we dip them twice? Dip, dip, dippity dip. What makes this world go wrong? That's not one of the questions. Sylvester can't read. Don't feel bad, Sylvester. I feel bad. Good for you. And Spice can't talk, but I'll do this next part. On all other nights, we eat our meals in any manner. On this night, why do we sit around the table together in a reclining position? Here are the answers to the questions. Why don't you start, Serge? We were slaves unto Pharaoh in Egypt, and the Lord our God brought us forth with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. It is therefore our duty from year to year to celebrate this event and to tell the story of Exodus over and over again. Indeed, to dwell and live on the story is a real mitzvah. For the more we talk about it, the better we will understand what a terrible thing slavery is. And we shall then try harder to help achieve freedom for ourselves, for our people, and for people everywhere. The Torah speaks about four sons, one who is wise, one who is contrary, one who is simple, and one who doesn't even know how to ask a question. The wise son asks, What is the meaning of all the rules and laws and customs which God has commanded us? You shall explain to him all the laws of the Passover. The contrary son asks, What is the meaning of this service to you? What a thing to say. He excludes himself from the group. Tell him plainly, because of what God did for me when I came out of Egypt. Say me and not him, because had he been there, he would not have been redeemed. Ouch! That's what I call tough love. Old Testament style. Does this mean I don't get to eat? We're just role-playing, Ratso. The simple son asks, D uh, what is this? You shall say to him, with a strong hand, God brought us out of Egypt from slavery. I was just pretending to be stupid. You don't have to dummy the answer down for me. It's just role playing, Serge. And the son who does not even know how to ask a question, you must begin for him. As it is written, you shall tell your child on this day, this is done because of that which the Eternal did for me when I came out of Egypt. Now, let us tell the story of our ancestors. Long ago, our forefathers, Yosef, son of Yaakov, saved the land of Egypt from a great famine. After Yosef's death, there arose a mean pharaoh. Pharaoh is like a king of Egypt, right? I saw it in a cartoon. Right. This mean pharaoh forgot about Yosef's health and oppressed and enslaved Yisrael and forced them to do hard labor under harsh taskmasters. Talk about ungrateful. Oh, it gets worse. To further keep our people down, the mean Pharaoh ordered that all the Jewish baby boys be drowned in the Nile River. Harsh. But God did not forget our ancestors. He sent them Moshe, our great leader and liberator, who led them out of Egypt. Our ancestors, Amram and his wife, Yocheved, had a baby child, and when he became too old to hide, they put him in a basket and laid it in the reeds in the Nile, and there Moshe was found. What happened next was the Pharaoh's daughter found the baby in the reeds and decided to adopt him. Was she mean like her daddy? No, she was a very nice girl. So Moshe grew up in the Pharaoh's court and grew strong and wise, 
And in addition to his Egyptian teachings, he learned the language and culture of his true Jewish heritage. And he saw the suffering of his enslaved people, but he didn't know what to do. Then God called upon Moshe and commanded him to plead with him that slavery was wrong, that Pharaoh should let the Jews leave the land of Egypt. You come, Moshe. And then Moshe warned Pharaoh that if he didn't let his people go, a series of terrible plagues would befall the Egyptians. But still, Pharaoh ignored Moshe's plea. Stupid Pharaoh. Ten horrible plagues befell the Egyptians. The Seder tradition is to dip your finger in your wine or grape juice and spill a drop on your plate as each one is mentioned. Let's say the plagues together. Blood, Blood frogs, frogs, burning, burning bees, bees, pestilence, forests, hail, hail, locusts, darkness, darkness slaying of the firstborn. Wait a minute. I understand the boils and blood and locusts, but what is so plagueful about a frog? A frog is a good thing. Well, I'm sure if they were having just one nice, polite frog come over for dinner like this, it would be okay. But there were thousands of frogs everywhere, falling out of their cabinets, eating all their food. It was bad for the frogs, too. People couldn't walk around without smooshing them. I still don't like being called a plague. What happened next was... Is that Elijah? I don't think so. Come in. Hi, everybody. Here comes Bobby Khan, the 11th plague. <laughs> that's so, that's not so nice. Come on, Ratso, what's your problem? You just irk me, that's all. Well, I love you, Ratso. And I write a song about the plagues that I thought you'd all like to hear. And I'm here to perform it. Well, that's very nice of you, Bubbler. Don't you think so, Ratso? I guess. Why don't you stand over there in the disco room so we can all see you, okay, Bobby? Wow, I didn't know you had a disco room, Rabbi. Why so shocked? Is there something in the Talmud against doing the hustle? Take it away, Bobby. A one, a two, a one, two, three. Well, old Moses, he came down from the mountain. He said to the Pharaoh, set my people free. And the Pharaoh said, no. I, I like your Jews as slaves. I like you living in my little caves. And Moses said, God, oh, what can be done? And God just said, I'm a bush. I'm a bush. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to send some plagues on you. A plague of frogs. A plague of bricks. A plague of sticks. A plague of Dogs, a plague of stones, a plague of bones, a plague of bees, of some disease. Oh, but the meanest one of all, the meanest one of all. Oh, I'm gonna take your firstborn son. I'm gonna take your favorite one. I'm gonna take your firstborn son. I'm gonna take your favorite one. You're a poor little Jew. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do when you're just a little Jew? Well, I tell you, I tell you what we do. We take a lamb and we kill it. Oh, we drain all this blood. We don't spill it. And we put it in a bucket and we take a brush and we we paint a big red X on our door We paint a big red X on our door And the angel of death don't come around no more The green, green fog don't seep under the door The angel of death won't come around no more Cause it's the angel of hell A Passover the coolest. I'm sorry I ever called him a plague.
big, nice attitude adjustment, Ratso. So here's what happened after all those plagues. The Pharaoh said, rise up and get forth from among my people. You and the children of Israel, go quickly. And they went quickly. They didn't even have time to make food. They just made bread dough and carried it in pans on their heads and let it cook in the sun. That's using their heads. So they did get away? No thanks to Pharaoh. He sent his army after them. And then one of the most famous parts of the story, God helped our ancestors get across the Red Sea by parting the waters. But after they got across and the Pharaoh's army followed them, the waters returned and drowned them. Whoa, that's deep. At the beginning of the story, Moses is supposed to get drowned, but he doesn't. And then at the end, it's the Pharaoh's people who do get drowned. They flip the script. That's an amazing tale. Can I read the next part? It's my favorite. Found. Go ahead. The Eternal brought us forth from Egypt with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs of wonder. Thank you. Thank you, Tiger. Now we thank God for all he did for us during Exodus. Does anyone know what Dayenu means? Isn't that the princess who died? That was so sad. No, that's Diana. Is it a government with two joint rulers? No, that's Diarchy. Is it the side of a right triangle opposite the right angle? No, that's the hypotenuse. And I don't even know where you got that from. Dianu means it would have been enough for us. So after each of us reads a great thing he did, everyone can say Dianu. Had he brought us out from Egypt and not executed judgment against them? Dianu. Had he executed judgment against them? and not done justice to their idols. Dainu. Dainu. Had his land their firstborn and not given us their property. Dainu. Had he given us their property and not divided the sea for us. Dainu. Had he divided the sea for us and not brought us through it dry shod? Dainu. Had he brought us through it dry shod and not drowned our oppressors in it? Dainu. Had he drowned our oppressors in it and not helped us 40 years in the desert? Dainu. Had he helped us 40 years in the desert and not fed us manna? Dainu. Had he fed us manna and not given us the Sabbath? Dainu. Dayenu! Enough already! Is it time to eat yet? Not yet, young friend. In the voice of Rabbi Gamliel, whoever does not explain the three symbols of the Seder and Passover has not fulfilled his duty. First of all, the Passover offering. On the Seder plate, the Passover offering is represented by the roasted lamb shank. Bah! Why are you crying, mutton chop? Bah! That might be my mommy! Bah. Don't cry, mud and chop. You just saw your mommy an hour ago. We brought this last week. And this is only symbolic. We're not going to eat any lamb tonight. Okay. And no frogs? No. No frogs. And no tiger? No, and no tigers either. I don't really have to ask, do I? The second symbol is matzah. Hey, that's like the dry bread they made on their backs when they were booking out of Egypt. Exactly. That's why we only eat unleavened bread during Passover. Finally, the third symbol is the bitter herbs represented by horseradish on the Seder plate. They represent how the Egyptians embittered their slaves' lives with hard labor. Now we've come to the home stretch. A few more prayers and the feast begins. Now... We all get some matzah, but don't eat it yet. Now we say the prayer over the matzah. 
Now you can eat the masa. Now we take some bitter herbs called moora and combine them with the sweet chorosis. This represents bitter slavery and the sweetness of God's redemption. How sweet it is. Indeed. Now, you can eat some. Ooh, bitter. Mmm, sweet. That, my friends, is the Seder. The feast is now served. Excellent. I'll be right back. That's got to be Elijah. No, it's Schlenker, our favorite klezma band. Would you like to join us for the Seder? We just finished our Seder. We'd like to play some music for you. Well, we're just about to eat, but we'd love some dinner music. Head on over to the disco room. The meal is served. That was delicious. And now one of my favorite traditions, the finding of the Afi Komen. What? Huh? When I slipped away before the meal, I hid it. Now the children get to look for it. Since we can't finish the Seder without it, whoever finds it gets a, to bargain with the adults to get it back. You mean the kids don't have to give it back unless you give us something we want? Even cash money? Maybe a few pieces of guilt. Maybe some chocolate, we'll see, but no haggling till you find it. Now to be safe, each child go with a goblin. Bo, you go with Surge. Creeper, you take Ratso. Buh, you take Spice. Dom, you team up with Sylvester. It's me for you and you for me. Any hints where it's at? It is in the Milky Way galaxy. Good luck. Yeah, 
Avi 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 coming, yeah. Avi 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 coming, yeah. We've been searching high and low, man. We got to find the Avi coming. Can't finish the say the show, man, without that blessed Avi coming. Avi 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 coming, yeah. By Abba and Ema If I don't find it, I might scream up I'll be sad as Willie Loman If I don't find that, I'll be coming I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be coming, yeah I gotta find, gotta discover I gotta get, gotta uncover I gotta spot, I gotta trace I gotta strike, catch, hit, detect, locate I gotta track, got to a spot You know you got to recognize It's a very special matzo I'll negotiate for lots of stuff I want If I can go in by myself The Afi Komen Afi, 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 Afi Komen, yeah Afi, 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 Afi Komen, yeah Avi 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 coming yeah Avi 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 coming yeah Avi 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 coming yeah Well congratulations boys now it's time for the bother Will it be candy a small toy Not so easy my friend Who is that with you My lawyer Get ready for some hard bargaining. Avi, 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 coming, yeah! Sign here, 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 and uh, here. We have a deal. Good doing business with you. Now I gotta go spend Passover with my family in Elmira. So now we have the Avi Komen. The Seder is complete. Everyone, read along with me. And, and it is, is the Passover Seder, according to custom, statute, and law. As we are worthy to celebrate it this year, so we may perform it in future years. Next year in Jerusalem! Look! Look at the cup! He came! He is real! Maria! Let's celebrate our honored guest with a chorus of Dayenu. Bye, everybody, and if for some reason next year you don't make it to the Holy Land, next year in Puppet Town, maybe, everybody, sing! Ilu hotzi hotzi anu, hotzi anu mi mitzrayim, hotzi anu mi mitzrayim, dayenu, dai dayenu, dai dayenu, dai dayenu, 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 dai dayenu.
to get my homework done. You know, I've been so busy lately. Yeah, doing what? Meeting all kinds of interesting musicians. Wow, that's so cool. Like who? Well, how about we meet them together over the course of the show? That sounds great, Little Rat, so let's do it. But before we meet them, how about we warm up with a little dancing? I love dancing. <laughs> Fisher. Hi, Harvey. Hello, uh, little ratso. How you doing? I'm doing great. You seem like a very nice man. What do you do? Well, I do a lot of things, you know. I, um, off, offhand, if I might say that to you. I am, um, I'm a singer-songwriter, and, um, I'm one of L.A.'s top 10 million photographic models. And I uh, write screenplays. I'm an actor. And, um... You tell jokes? And I can tell jokes, too. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me one? Sure. Um... The, um... Uh... What... What the, did the snail say when he took a ride on the turtle's back? I don't know. What did the snail say when he took a ride on the turtle's back? Wee! <laughs> That's good one. See, the snail walks so slow that a turtle seems fast to a snail. I see. Yeah. Now you write songs about golf yeah. and, and about Zodiac. Oh, uh, yeah. My birthday was December 30. Do you know what Zodiac I am? Uh, I would say that's a uh, Capricorn. Do you have a song about Capricorn? Yes, yes I do. Could you sing me a few bars? Um, sure. Um, I was born a Capricorn. 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 Wow, that's awesome. Now, do you have any messages for the kids in Chicago? I know you like to eat special food, right? Yes, uh, <clears throat> I have a special diet. It's called macrobiotic. And it's a healthy way to eat. One of the healthiest ways to eat. Grains, vegetables. Uh, now, it may come as a surprise to you, but no dairy. Dairy is not the best thing for you. Uh, and no uh, processed foods and uh, no junk food and lots of grains, vegetables, seaweeds and uh, uh, You don't eat White Castle? Why do? White Castle burgers? Sliders? No, no, no white, uh, none of that, no. I uh... No Maxwell Street Polish sausage? No, no, maybe, maybe a, um, maybe a throw pillow in season. 
or some Arizona mud occasionally. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm... Any other messages for the kids in Chicago? Yes, for um, I would say uh, the first step to solve a problem is first you have to create the problem. So if you uh, if you have a problem, you probably started, you probably created it. All right. So kids. Be troublemakers, it'll help you be trouble solvers. Now let's watch your video. Born to be bold, I'm the sign of the brave. One hero alone with a whole world to save. I am the story of honor and glory. I'll stand up and fight when I know I am right. I will not be afraid. I will lead the parade I am, I am, I am the ram 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 I am, I am the ram I am, I am the ram Busy as a bee on the move all the time can't sit by the fire, I need mountains to climb I set the pace and I must win the race Out in front of the rest, cause I want the best Should I lose, there's no shame I'll find someone to blame I am, I am, I am the ram I am, I am, I am the ram One for all and all for me I am Aries I know how to show my ego I am, I am the Ram I am, I am the Ram Quick to be angry and quick to forgive A whole lot of sparks but the fire short-lived My passion is extreme, I can light up a dream I will give my best try and I never say die for me life is fun Cause I am number one I am, I am, I am the Ram I am, I am, I am the Ram One for all and all for me please I am Aries I know how to show my ego Homework because that's important. All right. I'm here with the legendary Cativo. I hear he, he doesn't talk much, and maybe. He, hmm. Does he know English? I, I, I'm not sure if he knows English, but he makes great music. Hmm. I, I think he's talking about me in Italian, but I. Hmm. Well, maybe we could dance to his music. That'd be fun. Yay! Let's dance the Katibo! Give me baby, give me baby. 
people. I did. And after this, we'll meet someone else and then dance to their music. Okay, that sounds great. I can't wait. Hi, everyone. I'm here with my favorite band, Selby Tigers. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi how are you? Hello. <laughs> what are all of your names? I'm RZD2. I'm Nathan. I'm a Sam G. Dave. Hi, everybody. Hey, I like tigers. What kind of sound does a tiger make? Rawr. 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 Those sound more like pirate sounds. Arg. Dave, can you do a tiger? Uh, it's grr, I believe. Where's Selby? It's a street in St. Paul. St. Paul is in... Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota? Wow, is it cold? Oh, yes. Right, so you cannot imagine how cold it is. It's, just, it's so much colder than where I'm from that I often find myself, I do a lot of cursing, and I'm not going to do it because I know the show, you know, is for the kids, but it's real cold. Is that why you wear that uh, thing around your neck? No, my friend, that is called an aesthetic statement. You may not have got into that word yet. I know you're a rat, but still, when you are older, you will make those kind of decisions like, I like my pants are tight, you know, I look for cars that are shiny, uh, and the shoes that have a big heels. Mm, do you have any messages for the kids? Um... Um, I would like Dave to go first. <laughs> Chicken. Be cool. Stay in school. <laughs> Remember, the old people know a lot of good things. You should have talked to them. Eat your vegetables. Eat your dessert. <laughs> I like dessert. Hey, now we're going to watch your robot video. Do you like robots? We love robots, yes. And we would love it if you would dance to our video. Because we love people to dance to our music. Oh! Why the punker crossed the road? I don't know. Why did the punker cross the road? Is safety pin to the chicken? Ah! <laughs> All right, let's watch the video. Yay! Say bye, everybody. Woohoo! Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you, Rats.
of the greatest kids performers in America. Oh. Hi, Lori. Hi, little ratso. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? So, it's interesting. Your audience is all kids? Um, well, kids and their parents. Oh, sure. I was wondering how all those kids drove here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, some of them, you know, they get their license early in different states. Oh. But. So their parents like your music, too? Yeah, they seem to like it. You're good. Thanks. Now, um, your publicity person told me that you play for famous babies. I, I had always heard that when they had babies in the movies, it was robots or midgets. I didn't even know they had famous babies. <laughs> oh, famous babies. Well, famous babies of famous people. Oh, like who? Um, well, there was Madonna's daughter. Wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> Who's cuter, Madonna's daughter or me? Oh, you definitely. Yay! Although I like her. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> yes. um, You're very close to me, my darling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, it's TV. We'll no. look further away. <laughs> now, I wanted to ask you, you must uh, have some messages to the kids out there. Anything oh. Anything you want them to know? Sure. I want them to know that they can always sing no matter what, always make music, and, um, and always have fun. Now, what about older folk who make music who might want to make music for kids? Any messages for them? Sure. Yeah, just do it. You sure. know, as they say. Just do it. Just do it. Now, uh, to wrap this up real sweet, I'm sure you know some good jokes from dealing with the children. <laughs> some good jokes? Yeah, just give me a joke. What's going on a, a zinger? Uh, oh, you're putting me on the spot, little rat, so. <laughs> no, no, no jokes, you know that? No, no jokes. Oh, you know, no, I really do. What's my joke? I jo uh, I do, you know, I play songs. And some of them are silly, and some are funny. And, you know, about people doing silly things, wearing stuff on their head, and, you know, like, here, I'll show you. It's like, like this. Wow. See, that'd be one of my songs. Well, that sounds like a good song. <laughs> All right, let's listen to the music of Lori Berkner. Yay! Bye. So let me show you how it goes. You gotta be loud. Where are you? <laughs> okay. It goes like this. I'm gonna sing something, and then Susie and Brian will help you. You sing it back to me. You wanna try it? Okay. It goes like this. Hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Let's eat some. Let's eat some. What do you think he's gonna eat? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. Say this with me all at the same time. To eat some spaghetti with Freddy. Ready? Ready. Ready. To eat some spaghetti with Freddy. You got it. Okay. I love to hear you all singing and have a classic. Clapping. Oh, you're great clapping. Oh, it's a big beetle and Freddy Gasco. Ain't a beetle. And so that's why they put it on their right. They put it on their beat.
Ham. Ham. What are your names? I'm Big Ham. I, I, I be Lil Ham. Hi guys. Hi I'm, Lil Ratso. How you doing? I'm doing great. I hear you're from Canada. That's right. It's that, a big place. <laughs> that's Canada. 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 And you guys are Canada Ham. That's right. <laughs> We're Canada, Canada Ham. <laughs> I've heard of Canadian bacon. Can you say Canadian bacon? I just did. Oh, you did, didn't you? Hey. You're so smart. Well, Big big Ham, will you tell a joke? What's orange and smells like a carrot? I don't know. What's orange and smells like a carrot? I know the answer. You tell the answer. I know the answer. Um, a carrot. A parrot. No, you screwed it oh, up, too. It up. <laughs> Where does Napoleon keep his armies? I don't know. Where does Napoleon keep his armies? Up his sleeveys. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 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 I have one. La last joke, guys, because we got to dance. Oh, <laughs> we like to dance. Um, uh, oh, I forgot it. Um, no, 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 no. What's invisible and smells like carrots? I don't know. What's invisible and smells like carrots? A rabbit fart. <laughs> oh. Come on, kids, let's dance. Yay! Let's dance the candy! Squiggle wrong though. School is cool. School is cool. Let's, Stay in let's school. Let's dance out of here.